Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Max here is nine months old and I actually cannot believe that he's nine months old. I know, I know, I know, I know. But he has not been a good boy. I think he must be in his teenager stage or something because although he was just being super, super cute, he has really not been a good boy for like the past month. Wow. He has just been biting everything. He has been chewing everything. We got these new Audubons recently and he has actually like bitten them and he tore into that couch back there and thankfully he didn't ruin too much, but he has kind of been out of control and our immediate solution was to just buy more stuff for him to bite on. And we also have been spraying the couches and Audubons down with this super spraying, bittery type stuff. And it smells so bad, but it hasn't been working as much as it used to. So we have to find something stronger, but it has been really, really difficult. This has definitely been like his regression period. And I've seen so many people talk about the teenager phase during their puppyhood. And I really didn't believe it, but this is like the only explanation that I could think for him for being this crazy because he's absolutely been crazy. He has just been biting everything. He has been doing things he knows he's not supposed to do. For example, he tore down the garbage and he knows he's not supposed to be in the garbage. And he's just been doing a whole bunch of things he hasn't been meaning to do. And we thought maybe we weren't, you know, giving him as much exercise as he should have gotten and things like that. But we were really giving him a lot of exercise, at least an hour a day, and he gets walked during the day. We did stop doggy daycare just because we wanted to get him on a more consistent potty schedule. And his body schedule has been really, really good for the past few weeks. Like he's had a few mistakes, but I think again, that comes with his teenager phase because he has just been doing things he's not supposed to be doing. And it has honestly kind of been difficult, but we have been really, really determined in making this month a lot better. We've been patient. Michael has bought so many new things. He bought these things to put underneath the couch so that way he's not like grabbing and scratching and biting underneath the couch. A lot of his toys do go underneath the couch. So this really does help with him not being underneath the couch and all that stuff. And his food, another thing that he has been having trouble with has been eating. Like we bought him a new snuffle mat because we thought it would be great for him to just kind of get a new experience when eating. And he doesn't seem to like it or he's either refusing to eat or he doesn't like it because he sometimes will just not eat. And this dog loves to eat. And it's not like I think there's a problem with him because if we give him peanut butter or chicken or something like that, he'll gladly eat it and he'll eat it so quickly. But I think he just doesn't want to put in the effort to eat out of the snuffle mat. And I'm not really sure why, but he doesn't really like a snuffle mat. So we've been giving him food in bowls and that's something that we're monitoring as well because usually we have never had a problem with food before. He's always eaten normally and regularly and on like a specific schedule, but now he's just not eating breakfast really and he'll save his breakfast until later. And I'm not sure why, but that's just something recently that he has been doing. And I think it's because of the snuffle mat. I don't think he wants to put in the effort to really eat out of the snuffle mat, but but we'll see how it progresses because he cannot be eating his food in three seconds because that's how quickly he actually goes and eats his food. Honestly though, outside of the teenager regression, I really can't complain, although the teenager phase has seemed like it has been so hectic and it kind of feels like everything that we've done kind of has just went to waste. But when I think back to it, like he still knows all of his commands. He's still doing really, really good on walking. It has been hard and it has been difficult with walking because up in New York state right now, like we're getting snow some days and it's warm and then there's no ice on the ground. And then the next day we get like a massive snowstorm, and it's really, really hard to keep track because I want to get him outside for a lot longer, but it's just just really hard because you never know what the weather's going to be like and he really wants to get out too and I'm really tired of walking in the snow and I'm so tired of walking on the ice and I'm hoping that spring finally comes so that way we can be outside for a lot longer. He has also been doing a pretty good job with Polka as well like he's chased after her here and there but honestly it hasn't been as crazy as we thought it was going to be and they're getting used to each other at least they'll hang out together and that's like a really really good thing that's something that we worked so hard on and we're just happy that they're finally getting used to each other we're happy that they're finally able to like sleep in the bed together or hang out in the bed together or watch out the window together like p is fine going up there but polka still doesn't come downstairs and that's okay she'll come downstairs when she's ready but that's just another thing that we've been working on and i'm really really happy with that too Wait.
<laughs> Take it. Good. And honestly, that's kind of it. Like, it's not so much has changed, but a lot has changed at the same time with his teenager stuff. And he is getting neutered in April around his one year birthday. And I have heard that after you neuter a dog, like their energy levels decrease significantly. And I'm really not sure what to expect from him because he is a beagle, obviously. And his energy levels are quite high, but I'm not quite sure what to expect after we get him neutered. We're getting him neutered during my spring break. So I'll be home to watch him for all of those days and help him with his recovery and things like that. But I really do not know what to expect after that. So if you are a beagle owner and you've had your beagle neutered, let me know down below how that happened. Or if you have a male dog and you got them neutered, let me know what happened down below. I'm really nervous, but honestly, I just don't know what to expect. <laughs>